Hi, my name is Jody. I'm from the Portland area in Oregon. Um, and uh, I made my way to Northwest Functional Neurology. Uh, finally, after uh, years of trying to figure out what's wrong with me, um, probably I think the earliest injury I can think of is when I had a concussion at 10 years old. And um, from then on, I had quite a few uh, concussions and brain injuries, um, spinal injuries, but specifically um, my cervical spine was kind of pinched like a garden hose, um, which led to uh, cranial nerve damage uh, and different, different injuries. So um, when I had these injuries, the, the problems didn't show right away or I excuse them away. Um, I kind of tailored my life around um, my signs and symptoms, but um, periodically through the years, uh, certain things would get bad enough that I would go to the doctor. I couldn't excuse them away, so I'd go to a <clears throat> doctor for them. And um, different things like digestive issues or um, heart issues where I felt like I might be having a heart attack. Um, uh, and other things like just very cloudy thinking and um, not really knowing where my place was in space. Um, and again, excusing this away as stress or, or um, you know, just not getting enough sleep. So, um, so through the years, I would go to different doctors for different uh, problems when they got worse. Um, and they would check me out. Things were, you know, I was healthy, I looked healthy, everything was great as far as uh, they were concerned. And um, the, the response ultimately that I got every time was, you look great, you're healthy, I'm sorry you're uncomfortable and you're going through something, uh, but here's a prescription, uh, come back when it gets worse. I had, uh, I've had breathing issues where I didn't feel like I could fully um, breathe. Um, pain, lots of, lots of pain. Um, major headaches, uh, feeling cloudy, uh, like I couldn't think. Um, I, pain, muscle pain, ligament pain. Um, pain all over my body, pain in specific areas, uh, tightness where my muscles would lock up um, and I couldn't, you know, I'd go to massage treatment at the very least and um, have incredible work by incredible people and walk out the door and all, all the work that they had done would just lock back up again. Um, I've been to a cardiologist for um, what I felt like were heart issues. Um, my heart would race uncontrollably when I was sitting quiet on the couch with no stress going on or in my head. Or, um, and so I was having increasing um, heart issues and chest pains. And um, I've had all kinds of imaging done, uh, trying to figure out if there were brain tumors or different things uh, creating um, periodically loss of control on my right side and um, numb numbness and tingling and all kinds of pain that traveled down the right side of my body. Dizziness uh, to the point where um, I would fall against the wall in the bathroom or I'd have to take a shower and keep my eyes closed so I didn't fall over or get dizzy. Um, I've kind of explained it to people like I've been living on a boat for years and it's just gotten worse and uh, sometimes it's a Tippy canoe that I'm on, and sometimes it's a, a ferry where you kind of feel like a, a, a wave come along. Um, but, um, and just not remembering things, um, having to work particularly hard at just remembering um, <laughs> parts of conversations uh, sometimes, um, and just not uh, feeling like my head was full of sand and like there was a lot of pressure in my head, um, losing vision in this eye, losing uh, auditory or the ab ability to hear in this ear. Um, so a number of a number of issues. I'm sure I'm not remembering all of them. You know, sometimes shake my hands would shake. 
Uh, and none of this was as bad as what it led up to. Um, and that is, I got to the point where I'd have to close my eyes uh, while I was in the shower so I didn't fall against the wall. Or, um, you know, getting ready in the morning, I'd have to plan probably a couple hours because I needed to move slow so I didn't fall or hit myself, hit, run into things or um, injure myself. Um, and j just experiencing um, times when I would wake up in the morning where I felt like I had had a stroke or, um, or a seizure um, and not knowing where that was coming from, what was going on. Um, and this all kind of just grew and grew to be worse to the point where um, I actually did feel and start to look like I was having a stroke. And um, that was pretty alarming <laughs> um, to where my face was not responding on the side. And so, um, and, and um, I, couldn't, um, I couldn't think clearly. Um, I was losing who I was and my ability to even just think through a thought or articulate um, to people <laughs> something that had just happened. My memory was, I was losing parts of my memory. And, um, and so um, really out of desperation um, after, you know, getting the same uh, response from doctors and yet knowing um, that there was something wrong. Um, I had a feeling that it might have been neurologic, uh, having to do with my <laughs> damaged nerves, um, but I wasn't sure. So um, out of desperation, I went to uh, my chiropractor, who is amazing. Um, and I knew that he was very, very knowledgeable and connected in both uh, the medical scene, um, traditional medicine, and chiropractic care. And uh, I, I made an appointment with him um, after having one of my stroke-like episodes that I, that's what I called it. Um, and he said, okay, so here's our game plan. I want you to get imaging and I want you to go see Dr. Glenn Zielinski uh, at Northwest Functional Neurology. And um, so I did and Um, <laughs> coming here has been life changing, um, <laughs> to, to meet with people, Dr. Zelensky and Dr. Mahul, um, and have them say, Yep, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> um, clearly, it's very emotional um, to have people validate your experience, but not just that. Um, you know, to just sort of step back a little. After a while, you start feeling like you're crazy and start wondering if you are. And as a mental health professional, <laughs> um, that's not good to start feeling that way and to start questioning, like maybe I am crazy, but knowing and feeling that you're sick or that something's wrong. So to be able to walk in somewhere and have not just your experience validated, but to have, um, to have incredible, <laughs> incredible professionals um, say, no, this is what's going on and we have a way to fix it. Um, and we have a way of treating some of the things and managing the others, and so this is what our game plan is. Um, it's just, it's incredible. So um, I'm not normally someone that does 
videos. <laughs> um, but this is, uh, this is how important this is to me, um, how life-changing it's been for me, and how important it is to me to get the word out to other people um, that this is the starting point for brain injury, uh, spinal injury, nerve damage, anything to do with brain and nervous system, this is the starting point because it's possible that this is the only place you'll have to go. First, I was diagnosed with um, dysautonomia and specifically POTS, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, uh, which explained my heart stuff that I'd been dealing with. Um, and dystonia, which uh, was the muscle tightness, um, and both of those things uh, related to the neck injury and the, the um, brain injury that I had experienced. Um, so from there, the, the starting point was uh, the intensive, the weak intensive treatment, um, and went through all kinds of diagnostic <laughs> stuff. Um, and uh, it was really fascinating uh, for me. I'm a very analytical person, um, and bless their hearts, they answered all my questions along the way. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to understand what I was going through and what was going on. But it was it was incredible, even even throughout the week, um, how how I could see things starting to to take place or things that weren't operating in my brain the way that they should. Um, and, and so now to experience those um, parts of my brain that are talking to each other again, um, there was, gosh, um, the hyperbaric chamber, which was one of my favorite things because um, that was just, you know, saturating my, my body with oxygen is kind of my, my view of it. Um, and that's significant, um, you know, for someone that hasn't been breathing the way that they should be, uh, should have been for years. Um, that impacts your systems and your organs and your tissues. And um, that in itself was huge. Um, but um, it was an intense program. <laughs> it was wonderful, but it was intense. and. Um, Every day, I mean, they're not—they're not kidding. Like you are exhausted in ways that you—you you don't understand until you're walking through it. Um, but, but that's because your body is getting back online and it's starting to talk again. Your brain is starting to talk with all the different systems of your body, um, and they're rewiring um, how your body has been operating <laughs> in a in the way that it should be in a, in a healthier. Um, operative way instead of just a survival way. Um, so it was incredibly worth it. <laughs> um, and, and so from there, um, you know, it's been, I think, several weeks now since I've done the, the intensive program. Um, and since then, I've, of course, have a take-home treatment plan that I've been doing. Um, and being consistent and diligent with that. and. Um, it's just continued to improve my, my thinking, my tracking, my vision has improved. Um, my hearing has improved. Um, I no longer have to close my eyes <laughs> in the shower. Um, I, I used to guide, have to guide myself to <laughs> To things, um, guide myself in rooms or throughout even my own house, um, just with my hand so that I wouldn't um, walk into things or hurt myself uh, because I couldn't gauge where this part of my body was. Um, oh my goodness, I'm able to breathe again, which is huge. I think I mentioned that before. Um, and my face is returning, <laughs> um, and uh, just my ability to think clearly uh, is improving. The dizziness is so much uh, better, meaning it's, it's minimal. 
um, and I can tell that it's, um, I feel like at some point that it will hardly exist um, just because of the improvement, the significant improvement in the last few weeks. Um, the pain, <sighs> the pain is almost gone. <laughs> Um, there are periods that I do have that it flares up, um, but I have ways of managing it, and I feel like that as well over time um, will, will <laughs> diminish, um, continue to di diminish significantly. Um, Typically, as an example, typically doing something like this uh, that's very, uh, would make me very nervous doing this video, um, this whole side of my body would be locked up right now, um, tight and pain, and I don't have any of that. <laughs> so, um, uh, headaches, my headaches have diminished so much. Um, which is huge. Um, I don't know. I could go on and on about all of the all of the huge changes in my life <laughs> in the last few weeks um, because of Dr. Zelinsky and Dr. Mahul. Um, the staff is amazing. Everyone here is amazing. They're the nicest people you'll ever meet. Um, they're so patient. <laughs> um, so patient and understanding. Um, you know, when you are in a place where you're, you feel like you're not making sense or you can't uh, formulate words or thoughts um, and you feel that people are going to get impatient with you because sometimes people do. Um, they are so patient and understanding and take their time and they understand you, they hear you, they listen. Um, and they know what they're talking about. <laughs> if you have tried to get help and you've gone to all of the people that you possibly can and they have said, you know, there's nothing wrong with you. Here's a prescription. Um, come back when you're worse. Um, and and you've, you've exhausted all your options. Um, you need to come here uh, because they know what to do, they know what's wrong. Um, and like I said before, this, if you have a brain injury, spinal injury, anything to do with nerves, and maybe you've had an injury and you don't know that you've had an injury, um, but you're experiencing things that people can't pinpoint or diagnose, um, don't go down the prescription <laughs> road. Uh, or the surgery road um, until you've come here first, uh, because, like I said, this 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 is neurology. What they do here is is neurology, the treatment of what's going on with the brain and nervous system. This is the starting point, and um, don't waste don't waste your time and money and effort and sanity. Uh, going to multiple different places, um, some that care and some that see you as a bank account. Um, you need to start here um, because this is, they're going to help you. So. Mm -hmm.